All right, so we're doing a max dupe ceremony Yami showcase now with an attack set, as we can see there. As much as 50k attack is not like too crazy and we could for sure get it higher, we're going to do an attack showcase as most of his kit now that we have him duped up is going to revolve around that. So if you want to hear about his kit, you could go to previous videos, go to the, to the previous showcase. For this one, we're going to focus on the dupes as before. He was not duped out, so I didn't talk about them, but his dupe too is going to be giving him a 100% barrier dependent on his attack for one turn if he's at 8 SP. So you want to stay at 8 SP, but the good thing about that is that you're using his skill 1 for most of the battle until maybe the last, like, the last hit if you want to just completely nuke with this once you have max stacks. But besides that, this is going to be so much better, right? Getting the extra damage of, like, what, 250% technically, and then having the speed increase every time you use it. So he's going to be very speedy for that. And then obviously it's going to give him the, or it's going to keep giving him the barrier. And then at max dupe, if he also stays at 8 SP, he's going to re reduce his damage taken by 30%. So no matter what, he won't really be taking too much damage. So on mono green, max dupe, he might not be that bad if he has a skill page to give him the speed increase, right? Because this comes from a skill page. Um, so we see we have an attack build, no speed, but that's fine. Also defense percent because like, I mean, maybe the magic attack would help him a bit, but not really because that's not a big magic attack increase. So, yeah, probably defense percent better. Also, wait, hold on. Hold on. We do have one of these. You want to bless us? Okay. Okay, that's huge. What? That's huge. Um, And then on the talents, we went for the three speed to kind of compensate for the lack of speed set. So, there we go for that. So, we're going to go into it with mono green as usual. Same team as before. Um, And, yeah. We're going to start off simple. Since I am in the lower leagues, I'm going to fight all my friends who are pretty much all Giga Whales. Um, I also asked Kiske, who was a top three PvP player, I think last season too. So good shit to him um, to change his team. So we'll be fighting him, him afterwards. Um, so Radas, I gave him a bunch of magic attack gear. And then Charlotte just has HP gear. So we're going to be going crazy on that. And Kiske just said he's good. So for the next match, we will be fighting Kiske. Um, Real is a bit lacking. But that's fine. I mean, real, we just need him to really do his first attack and then he'll be fine. We just need him to take off the buffs. That's the main thing, to be honest. Um, so yeah, we're looking pretty good. For this team, okay, I think getting rid of Ghost is going to be pretty important because, I mean, Julius too, it's just... Hmm, I'll just attack Julius because either or, they're both going to be majorly tanky. Okay, so we're going to go for the buff removal. Whoever removes the buffs, I'm going to go for. Oh, both of them? Hold on. No, oh, 40% damage reduction, and he has 40%. So we could go for both. Okay, we're gonna put this, get our stun block. Insane barrier, by the way. 179k because of our ridiculous, ridiculous magic attack on the goat. And now, oh, but he has the barrier. Okay, wait, he has incapacitate twice and defense. We should be good. We were not good. Not even um, Ghost would have died there, um, which is fair enough. I mean, Julius there was the barrier, so not really much to do there. So Yami does have the speed increase, which is going to allow him to get up very quickly, as we can see from that. Um, now it's a bit rough, though. It's for sure a bit rough. Let's just keep on getting our stacks in. I think his attack being low is unfortunate, right? But he's going to get a lot of barriers over time, which is the main way we're going to have to play this. So at least one stun is not bad, plus the debuffs. And now we have our defense increase. Yami might just be cooked, right? That's the main thing. Um, the goal of this, honestly, is not really going to be to win all of the matches, because I just don't see it happening. But, okay, good damage. Honestly, good damage with everything. Um, in the last video, I mean, the main thing is that we got very lucky in terms of real removing buffs and all that. So, of course, our damage was going to be very high. Um, but people were acting as if his damage being high meant he was like OP as hell when I just, that wasn't the case, right? Like him doing 400k to Black Asta with no buffs isn't special. I mean, if Asta even had one buff, the amount of damage it would have been reduced by is just insane. So if we could kill, no, okay, no way we were killing. Oh, I didn't see the damage reduction buff. I didn't realize he even had that. Okay, so now she has no defensive buffs, but Bayami does. Okay, um, so... Listen, we're, we're really going for a max dupe showcase, which means I'm taking him in to the worst of worst cases, right? It's not, nothing's being spared. So we'll hop back into this. Remember, Charlotte 2 has a good amount of HP. It's not like she was giving out a big barrier at first and everything. So we're going to have to see how we should maybe play this instead. Maybe swap uh, Charlotte instead of real. We'll have to see, but let's go into the next one. All right, so we're just going to have a bit of like a intermission, I guess, for this. We're just going to fight a protection type of team. 
where Vanessa protects at the beginning and then uh, Guldori protects Julius after and Julius is at 90k. So just for some fun, let's see if we could actually beat this. It should still be very toxic. Um, now I want to say something. Mono green and just y Yami in general is going to get way better. <clears throat> way better once Mario comes out. If Like just overall, right? You got to remember Mario is going to give the damage reduction, stun block, etc, etc. Also, the taunts are going to be very strong for Mario. And extra damage, right? So it's not going to be a solo show, which will help a lot. Um, oh, the protection goes on Vanessa. So this should be a pretty easy sweep, I think. They have a lot of damage reduction, but still, that silence isn't really going to affect us. Not that much. Does he have... Oh, he has the 34. Oh, yes, everything. Okay, there's no point. Uh, let's just attack Charlotte. So we'll get in our extra attacks and just go from there. See what happens. Okay, unfortunate that Radis did get uh, stunned, but we're still looking fine. We're just going to keep on attacking Charlotte, keep on chipping away at her. And because he has high speed, he's going to pop back up even ahead of Charlotte again, right? Which is pretty cool. Or he should, I think. Is he? Is he going to, though? So we did have the protection because of uh, Gulduri, right? Pretty sure Gulduri gave it to Julius. Did he? I guess not. All right. So, oh, Charlotte was protected now? Okay, that's actually, that's good. I mean, now I can't attack her, so unfortunate. Um, we're just gonna go for Vanessa, I guess, in this case. Okay, solid 100k. Remember, Yami's giving himself his own barriers, but is that gonna be enough? I guess we'll see. Um, oh! No way. No way, that's such a troll. Okay. Um, we're gonna refight the previous team again, but with Radis having less magic attack. Because I have an attack build, I don't have enough magic attack. Um, so Charlotte's barriers are going to rot us, which is probably explaining the, well, it's why we're dying more, right? So let's just uh, fix that. You can see just how much, right? How much damage Yami ends up doing by the end. But now we're safe, right? We're safe. Julius isn't doing the like 100, like, or 250k he needs to do to Yami to actually kill. Um, so yeah, now we could just kind of have fun with this. We're going to use the alt on y with Yami. Um, after once we get him to the to his last life for now let's just kill her there's so many extra hits it's actually insane okay so we're gonna get down one life and then we're gonna get the buffs ready for yami afterwards okay well bop, bop, bop. solid 200k all being blocked okay is that gonna kill yeah okay rod uh, rod is just doing too much okay let me just fix that a bit let me give rod us less all right so rod us now has less magic attack so we're good with that um, so now Yami should just be higher, okay? Radis is gonna have a le less of a barrier, but now Charlotte's gonna be giving her barriers to Yami, which in the long run should help us out a lot more. So now we're gonna fight another Kisuke team, right? It updated, and this is a pretty, ver sorry, very solid team. Asta's CC is a bit low, but as you can see, Julius and Charlotte's CC is quite high. So that's going to be overall very good. So Yami's damage is a bit lower than if he had a magic attack build, but defensively, he is looking much better. So that's the overall um, consensus um, for this. So our Charlotte does not have the force speed because we want her to have more HP to give bigger barriers in this instance. So I think I'm personally fine with this type of build. Um, if we could remove the buff from William... We did not. We removed it from Charlotte. So we're going to have to go for Charlotte, I guess. All right. That's how it's going to have to be. It is what it is. Let's see if we can maybe win this. Their team is much more built in terms of main DPS set. They have 20k CC above us. Also does help. Big help, right? Uh, ooh, we're going to put this just for the debuff and stun block in case. One of the biggest things for sure is that um, they have the magic attack percent necklace where I don't have uh, an attack percent necklace for Yami. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. It does make a difference. It, it makes a big difference. So that's probably a good like 5k CC that we're missing out on, I think. On Yami, but... Okay, well, I think we got very fortunate in this instance. Radis is going to use his barrier now, and then we'll be good. So I'm just going to... No, we're going to save for Charlotte. Because I think our Charlotte should just be able to kill them. We'll see. Anyway, yeah, no, way better. Um, wow, three stacks. Okay. Yep, perfect. Our Charlotte kills. And now Big Barrier. Once we get Mario, this team actually is going to be fun. I'm going to remake a video with Mario in this exact team instead of Rod S or Real. One of the two is going to change, I think. So now we leave Black Asta for last. Okay, we have three stacks, so we're doing an extra 200% technically. 
Yeah, because 50 here and then 3 here. So that's 200%. Good 96k. Love to see it. Yami's just getting barrier after barrier that are actually good, solid barriers. So that's a pretty big thing. Um, we'll get our defense increase because slowly we're going to get Asta to anti-magic. So it's going to be good to have. Now we're at max stacks. I did not see the barrier he gave himself, but if you want to rewind, you will be able to see uh, Yami's barrier. So now we want to put buff block, I think. So we're going to put this. Yeah, we're going to put this. Hopefully we don't kill. Hold on. Uh, I think we're better to just use the skill too, right? I'm feeling the skill too. I don't want to kill because the skill one might do too much damage. We're trying to plan this out, okay? Okay, good. 5,000. Love to see it. We're going to use this. If we don't get the buff block, I swear to God. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Okay, we're good. We're good. And then he's taunted on... Hopefully, that's Rodas. That better be. So, no buff block. Remember? And we're set. We're set. Just in case, we're going to taunt Black Asta. Just in case, somehow, Black Asta lives. And now, Yami has his max stacks. What that means... 300% damage increase and 50% damage penetration. Or defense penetration. I always say damage, but I mean defense pen. So, let's go into this. I'll push past my limits. I'm not gonna lie, I did not see how much that was. I, if you guys see it down below, you could uh, comment it, but I think that was around two to 300k damage, maybe? Because I know he did 200k at some point, I don't know. I mean, he killed, so that's good enough, but I, I'm not too sure how much damage that was. Now, we're gonna be fighting a scary fauna, okay? A very scary fauna. We're, we might be cooked. I, I just wanna try this for fun, see if our mono green team could uh, pull through. It's going to very much depend on Rades, so I'm kind of tempted to just go for this because I want Rades to get in his barrier on with this team. Because if he doesn't get his barrier, I don't think we're living that fauna. 94,000 CC is mad, okay? We'll have to see. This is definitely something that we're going to have to see. Um, okay, they have a 100k barrier. Fauna is protected because of Vanessa. Rill could stun our uh, Rades. We're just going to have to hope for the best, okay? That's all I could really say. So they got the damage reduction. We're going to target real. That's going to be our... Okay. Mm. Okay, that's going to suck for us. Sucks a lot more for us than it is for them. Right? Even if we remove buffs, it's not the end of the world. But on Fauna, is still pretty good. But yeah, okay. All right. Um, you know, let's just let's just act as if that didn't happen. I mean, listen, Fauna, if, she, if we went first with our Rod S, we would have been good, but... Did we? No, we didn't. We didn't. So that's it. All right. So let's go against a mono red team. And then maybe we'll attack the uh, standard team again from Nate. Not Nate. From um, what's his name? Kisuke. So we're probably cooked. Like point blank. Actually, that's that's fine by me. Problem is Yami's attacking after. But I think that's okay. It should be okay. Um. Okay. So... If we could remove the buff from Charmy, that would be quite good. Um, taunting with Radas might be the way to go. It, it probably is the way to go for the main reason that taunting is going to allow Yami to live guaranteed. Where if we don't do this, we're probably cooked. So let me just, uh, yeah, let me taunt. Let's, let's taunt Asta and we should be good. I mean... It's going to suck. We can't use the ult like, soon after. But I think it's for the greater good. And then we're going to put the barrier to ensure Yami lives. So what? He has three barriers. Two bar three barriers. Plus his own 30% damage reduction. Alongside Charlotte's damage reduction. Yami's living. So I'm trying to win this. I don't know if we will. But I'm trying to win this. Um, okay. Good damage on Asta. Probably because of the, the uh, defense increase. So now we're just going to have to hope that the next attack with Yami is going to kill. Will it? <clears throat> That's a good question. It's a very good question. I, uh, I'm i not too sure. Maybe uh, if we could have gotten the defense increase, probably, but we can't. So we're in a very bad case. Yami's not at 8 SP because of Red Uno. Obviously, this is a very, 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 very strong mono red team. So it's going to be difficult to build, uh, beat, but yeah... Okay, okay, okay. So that's going to be the SP increase. So Yami's going to get back to 8 next turn. It's just, are we going to die before then? And we're taunted. So that is very unfortunate. 
Um, I think if our Yami did a lot more at first, if we had a better built Yami, maybe we could have done something. But there's just no way we win now. I think we're just going to get cooked very quickly. Yup, look at that. Very, very quickly. Um, Yami is going to get one more hit in. Never mind, he is not. So, I mean, I always like to show this, right? Going against the opposite mono colors is kind of the way that I like to show it no matter what. But yeah, did not work out for us. Let's fight this once again for fun. Um, yeah, okay, we're going to go in with this and just to test it out. Now, of course, Yami, like I've been saying, he's not like amazing, but he's not horrible, right? He's not horrible and definitely the one you should pick between the two. But it's just I'm going for a more defensive Yami because you kind of need to in some cases, uh, especially if you're going to fight the teams we fought in this video. But still, it wasn't even enough to defend against Fauna. That's why I really do appreciate Immortality, like DPSs, or things along those lines. Um, you know, having the invincibility is really good. I just, I think Mono Green's going to get a lot better in the future. So we're going to have to kind of hope for that. Okay, that did not kill somehow. Oh, she had the damage reduction? No, that was because we attacked her, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, her skill page gives her damage reduction if we attack as an attacker. So this should kill though. Oh my god, that's cringe, that's cringe. Okay, next hit is uh, death for her, but still kind of cringe as hell. Yami took a lot of damage there. That's unfortunate, but we should be good. We're just going to alt stuns. One stun, and it's on Asta. That's actually quite a good stun. He can't really do much now. Um, okay, so now we just... Uh... Oh my god. Yeah. Why didn't we kill? We could have just killed, and that would have been so much better. Anyway, it's fine now. It's fine. So, get our barrier now. We cannot be stunned. Not that we can get stunned, I think. But we're looking good. Um, I want to try seeing the amount of damage we do with Yami's ult. He's at, what, three stacks? Okay, we'll be able to get it. Okay, we'll use it on Julius this time. Just to see the maximum amount of damage possible. Uh, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. We're gonna... Oh, hey, don't kill, don't kill Will. We don't want Real to die. So we're going to give this to Rill. We're going to put the buff block on Julius. Hey. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to... Actually, that's fine. It doesn't really matter. Uh, we should be good. Okay, anyway, I could show it. It's just going to kind of be... I just want to show the damage. Okay, we've already won against this team. I, I could probably win again. I just want to see the damage with no buffs. Just see ripe damage with it. Max stacks. With only obviously attack uh, build and not magic attack build, but still. I'll push past my limits. It's quite good. It's quite good. Um, definitely not bad. Um, I'm fine with that. I just wanted to see the damage. Like that was the main purpose for showing that. So yeah, let's just uh, finish it off. I would say there is better, but Yami's not horrible. It just takes. A cringe amount of investments really make him good for stuff that just... In the end, even the investment is not going to make him better than other green DPSs now and in the future. But it could play for it could make for a very fun play style. It's just unfortunate. Um, if Yami was off a of magic attack, I think it could have been so much better for everyone. But besides that, Yami's still pretty good. If you got his skill page up, he'd probably be a lot better. But yeah, that's besides the point. Um, he takes too much investment for a unit that just isn't really worth it. But design-wise, super cool. And I mean, I had fun, right? I had fun. We lost, but we won some, and it was pretty fun. So let me know what you guys think of Yami. I'll see you guys in the next video, and peace.